What's up guys? How's everybody doing today? It's Dano, and today we're gonna be looking at Black Ops 3 Zombies Revelations intro cutscene. Now this is gonna be the cutscene that shows at the beginning of the map if you're playing it solo or something like that. But um, a lot of channels are breaking this down. I'm gonna be breaking it down my way now and probably talking through most of it. So, you know, hang with me here if you haven't seen it. Let's do this. Here we go, boys. Blood and gore, of course. Okay, uh, let's recap a bit, shall we? All right, so we got Dr. Monty talking. This was meant to be a new start, really. A perfect world. Free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every corner. Okay, I'm going to stop you boys right there because we open up on a scene in the countryside with this house. Like, where are they? Just like... What dimension is this? Because literally every dimension that Rick Toffin and the group have gone to is 115, you know, like this is the house that they've been going to that they've been talking about. Um, but like where where are they? Why are you have not, why has nothing happened here? I don't understand. Is it like Monty's house? I'm really confused about that and really uh, excited to see what happens. Of the known Let's continue. And unknown universe. Mm -hmm. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids. Yeah. The little yous. You, little. Well, so far, so good. Okay, now right here, we have, you know, all the kids. Um, Let's see, I think this is Dempsey. That's Nikolai. We got Takio. We got my boy Eddie over there. And Samantha. You see all sorts of stuff. You see Jug. You see Teddy Bear. Also, right here on the rug on the floor, you could see that there is like a map layout on there. Um, I'm not sure what map that is. If I had to make a guess, uh, well, I can't even really make a guess. Never mind. I don't know. But um, yeah, you could tell it's all them as kids. They're just kind of hanging out in there. It's let's keep going. And they hear the noise. You also got um, fluffy. Things in the back. started to go wrong soon after you arrived. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the basement of the house. I'm pretty sure it is. But they never truly specify that. Um, but yeah, keep going. Okay. Now, I can understand your initial shock coming face to face with Max's. Okay, and right here is really interesting point, guys, because, you know, we see Maxis, we see Richtoff, and they kind of look at each other, and the music escalates. Like, I all the, I, when I first saw this, the music was escalating at this point when they looked at each other, and I was like, oh my god, what what's gonna happen? And then they're, they're like bros, they just go ahead and like hug each other, so, wh whatever. Especially after so long. So they're, they're cool, you know, they're happy to see each other, and but you uh, did the right thing. we continue here. Now right here is a very interesting point, I paused this at an amazing time because Maxis, as soon as he sees the summoning key, he starts hearing these voices. It's you can hear him in this clip too. He starts hearing the voices. Like you followed the plan. He looks at it so you weird. The summoning so see, he kind of shakes it off, and then we keep on going. Be here, and you destroyed that bloody machine once and so, for yep, They got there, followed the plan. They destroyed the machine. They're all happy about that. Thing is. And then there's always a twist to it. Like, he says the good things first. It's like, Monty, give me the good news. And then he flips. And then he says, and then he says this. This went and balled everything up. No. I'm at And I'm guessing he's reading some sort of book. I'm really not sure in what book that is, but we'll, we'll keep in touch. Please, you must help me. He heard voices, you see. So he hears voices. Calling to him. Calling to him. And why is it, oh my god, why did they just leave the summoning key? Sitting right there on the table. It's it's like, come on. That's important, right? Lock it up for Pete's sake. Only together. So he hears the voice. He like grabs it. It's like literally, you know who he's really talking to. His fault. You know, he hasn't that. Okay, so on this part right now, when you're seeing all these colors and stuff, and Maxis is kind of like struggling with the summoning key, I I think that somehow 
because that's what the ball looks like when it's collecting the souls, you know? Like, in the other cutscenes, um, you see all the other Tank, Dempsey, uh, Nikolai, Taki, you see all their souls get sucked up by this yellow light. So it's almost like, um, Maxis's soul is getting sucked up and almost traded. Actually got his soul yet. All I got was a brain. Anyway, the key thing, as in the See, it's almost like that Maxis is... gets sucked up. Key and then is that well. Maxis fiddled around with the summoning within the king and accidentally released an even bigger bastard. Someone even I didn't know was in there. The Shadow Man. Oh my god, boys, I, when I saw this for the first time, and I don't know if you are either, but the Shadow Man, are you serious, dude? I can't believe, I didn't know, honestly, where this guy went, um, I wasn't sure where he was, but I know how that he's, like, a whole bunch of trouble, so, he basically switched souls with Maxis, like, basically, like, whispering to him. And, like, convincing him, like, I can help you. And then, so, he trades the soul. Maxis, I think, is now in the summoning key. I don't know where the summoning key goes after that. You just see him hold it, you know? But then when he walks out here on the porch, he's not holding it. So, I don't know where that's going to happen, um, where where it's going to go. So, you see him out here. You know, just starts wrecking everything. He's, he goes off. And literally... Yeah, it's like raise your hands, my boy. Let's start the party, and then and pop fireworks. Like literally, he just opens a portal. To, to wet. Well, hold on. Let me go back for you, boys. It happens really fast. Okay, right here. This is a good pause. This is an image that we saw in a teaser. I think it was a Snapchat teaser. But it was a teaser that we saw of this giant blue just like glowing orb. And um, I'm going to be sharing my theories basically at the end of this video of what I think is going to happen in DLC 4. So right now I'm just breaking it down still. But you see this giant orb and we got the teaser from that earlier and probably I think it wasn't Snapchat. So it's very interesting that we do see that. We know that like the shadow man just kind of waves his hands out and he creates this. So let's continue. Okay, then just everything gets wrecked. That's the church, yep, all the ground. This literally like beautiful land goes into like space. This is another um Another thing that's very interesting because, you know, as I was watching this the first, you know, few times, because you can't just watch it once. You can't just watch it once, boys. You see, um, this giant just, like, rock structure up here. Like, like, what are they trying to tell you? Why would they put this in here? Well, they're putting a rock structure of, like, mountain or whatever just pop up out of nowhere. So what you're getting from that is... Stuff is just getting transported here. It's getting, like, through space and time and just, boom, it's there. It's like he's pulling all these weird things in. But if you look closely, it's not just a few bunch of mountains. There are some sort of buildings on there that I do see. I don't know if you guys see them. Again, these are just my theories. But it kind of looks to me like there actually is some buildings on there or it's just, like, um... Showing that stuff is getting transported. And then, of course... So, I'm... So, right here, you're gonna see him. He's got, like, those, like, tentacles all over, and he's, like... Going to be absolutely and then this is kind of interesting, because you see him look back, and as he looks back, you know, they're all, like, in the house, it's looking in the little window. But he never looks like the way he was Look, He stays looking back. And where is he looking? This got me. This got me. Who is he looking at? He's looking at Monty. This is Monty's like looking at them. Okay, he's like talking to you know the four, and and the shadow man outside is looking through the window at them. But 
at the same time, he's looking directly at Monty. He doesn't turn back around. And Monty just happens to pop up as a new character here lately. Because you, you guys have probably seen this. Now we know what he looks like. He's right here. It's very weird how he just pops into the story. And now it's like, okay. Yeah, Monty, we're, we're okay with this guy. He's good. Is he, though? Is he really good? This is a lot of... A lot of stuff going on right now, boys. Ooh, 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 evil. So he doesn't say it's evil, you know, he's like... We're yeah, talking about the apothecaries. The this is a good scene to point out right here. What is happening, okay? The giant blue orb in the sky, and you see the little apothecon guy right here because they're like floating, I don't know, fish now? I really don't know what this game has become. And he's almost, he's like doing something with it. And it's blue, remember? So it almost looks like a giant ball of like 115 or something like that. Because in the next scene, and evil entities in all the you see this boy spit a rock of 115 into a portal. And then if you just saw, if you just entities saw, in all the this isn't any vague ooh, 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 evil. We're talking. If you see in the background right now, the there is like five or six. There's like a whole bunch of portals all around. Evil. It's basically that's what's the bleeding effect of what's been Entities bleeding in into this. each other's worlds and all this all this corrupt world this that happens because of all these portals existed. that keep mixing them up. So right here, you see no other than um that one map, uh, Akino. Untoten something or other. I, f I forget the names. It's been so long. But that's the staircase right there. I know that. Can't remember some of these names of these old maps. Okay, so then we go to the. We're back at the front door of the house. They open it up. They I'm not walk going up. to sugarcoat things. And it's almost like. It's a fucking shit show. Okay, yep. Yeah, well. Monty closes the door on him, and he's like, I'm gonna let you guys, you know, fix this up. I'm just gonna chill in here, you know, to have my tea. But, um, he just lets him go out, and since this is the intro cutscene to the map, the front lawn of the house is likely where we're gonna be starting. It just is. You see the flowers on the ground, you see just, you don't see much. You just see where they're standing, it's where they're looking, because likely right where they're looking, the shadow man was on the front lawn, so he's probably going to be there or something in the beginning, and when you start, um, kind of like Shadows of Evil, when you start, you know, he's up on the, the roof or whatever, and then also, um, you're going to be looking probably towards this giant blue orb, whatever it is, and that's how you're going to start the map, so then you have it there. That is amazing, boys. September 6th, 2016. This is going to be so hype. Um, the revelation. I mean, just look at the picture of it. It just looks amazing. It's, I don't understand what that blue orb is yet, but I will. Once we play the map, we're going to be doing a bunch of streams on it, a bunch of other stuff. But you also have, you know, the multiplayer maps, which I'm not really going to go over right now. I don't know much about them. All I know right now is that Outlaw is standoff from Black Ops 2. Um, I don't know what any of the other ones are. Rupture, I think, is a remake, too, of World at War. Um, but that's basically it, guys. There's nothing after that. It just shows this. Salvation, it's great. So, my theories for DLC 4 is that if you did notice in there... Let's see, can I find it? Hold on. Hold on. No, hold on. All the existences so, that ever existed. So it has all these portals around it. And it seems that they're spinning, you know, 115 into them. And it's and you see the old map here. So this keys to me that maybe most likely my theory we're gonna be running Yes, literally running through portals across um, across a bunch of old remaked maps like this map I know there was more teasers um of Kino Kino their Toten there was more teasers of I don't know just a bunch of stuff that people thought like hey is that Shangri-La like hey is that Darius I'm like 
Well, maybe it is because if it's all these maps and there's something you're going to have to do, I think running through these maps, I don't know. This is my theory that they're going to make all these maps part of one map because you're going to be jumping from portal to portal to portal and so on. And then some sort of Easter egg is going to happen where you somehow defeat the Shadow Man, save the world, save Dr. M Dr. Maxis. And if that doesn't happen, and boys, this story is really messed up because it's got to be a happy ending if it's ending. I mean, unless there is DLC 5 confirmed. No, boys, I don't know. But seriously, this app is this. But seriously, guys, this map is going to be so insane and I can't wait because it's going to be insane. You also see that... Uh, Taki was wielding his katana, so he's got to be able to get the katana in this map. Literally, everybody was like, oh my god, Setsubo no Shima, Taki was going to get his katana. And I had a feeling too for a little bit, but did that happen? No. So, that's going to be it, guys. That's kind of my theories. That's the Black Ops 3, the Revelations intro cutscene. I want to see more content on this. Um, I'm going to be posting when the map comes out. I'm just going to be going hype on it, trying to figure out as much information of the Easter egg, um, of anything else in the map as possible, trying to make some sort of guide. Otherwise, I'll be coming with you guys um, for guides on Gorod Krovi and maybe some other maps soon still. Um, so I'll see you guys next time, next video. Dano, 